Do you know what the best budget upgrade for a bathroom is? Bathroom timer. Timer to control how long your bath fan stays on. By far the best budget upgrade you could do to your older bathroom. Let me show you how to install it. First thing you're gonna do, shut the power off. So we got the lights on so we know that if, when they shut off, We are looking for, um, let's try 9B, basement bath. And that's it. So we know this now has no power because the lights don't work. Nothing works. Now we can safely work on it. I know that this switch is for these two lights. I know the second switch is for a light in the shower, and I know the third switch is for the bath fan. Now we're going to take the plate off, since we know we have no power here. Got the plate off, now we're going to take all three switches out. Makes it easier. You'll see why in a second. Now that we got all three unscrewed, now we're just going to pull them out of the wall. So again, we know this is the switch we want. This is the fan. So we're just going to unhook this. Now if you look in the box, we've got a wire that comes directly from a 14-2. This is going to be your switch leg. And then we have these three wires that are spliced together. And then we have three wires that go to the switches. This is your power. Simple. However, these timers, however, these timers require a ground and a neutral. So now we need to pull out the neutral splice. And I'm not sure why this is taped. Oh, it's because they didn't splice it. Nice. So we'll undo this. What's going on? Yeah, because they got open on there. We're going to put a bigger moret on there anyways. I grabbed a bigger moret as well as an extra moret just in case we need it. So next up, open up our box. You can follow the constructions if you need, and I'll show you how to do it here. So these are the Leviton these are the Leviton DT-130. These are a really nice looking timer. You got a five minute, a 10 minute, a 15 minute, and a 30 minute. These work with bath fans. They work with lights, with just motors. Like if you want it on a pump, this will work on anything. First up, we are going to attach the ground to the box. So we'll hold it, oh, flip our bit first. And we're just gonna hold it in the back here. Always put it so when you turn your screw clockwise, it will tighten the wire against it. So when you're coming from the bottom like this, you put it on the left, and then when you just tighten up your screw, it'll pull the wire tighter around it. Less chance of it coming off the screw when you tighten it. Now, we're just going to take our neutral wire, 
and our bigger Marat. And we'll slide it on over. Tighten it down. Now, neutral splice can go back in. We're done with it. Now, we're going to push our power wire back, like our power splice back in a little bit here. This one is our line. This one, is, or sorry, this one is our load. This one is our line. The back of this is labeled. However, it's line load, line load. So it doesn't matter which one you hook up to which. You just hook one up to one, one up to the other. Give them a little twist to the right. And connect them with your Marat. Connect this one with your Marat. Now this is where you can flip the breaker back on momentary, like for a little bit. Make sure nothing is touching. Make sure everything is separated. And you can turn the breaker on and you can test it to make sure it works. I'm very confident that it works. I've done this before. So I'm just going to tuck everything in here and tighten everything down. Now that these are tightened down, I like to go turn the breaker on. So I'm going to go turn the breaker on. Now when you turn your breaker on, if you did something wrong, it will trip. So which will tell you that you did something wrong. Then if you've already put everything in, you take it back out, you'll see what you did wrong, and then correct it, put it back in, then come turn your breaker back on. Now, let's turn the breaker on. Stayed on, everything should be done properly. Let's go check it. As you can see, we got a green light here. So now you just press your button for five minutes, for 10 minutes, for 15 minutes, or for 30 minutes. It will just run and shut off when it's done. And if you need to just manually turn it off, you just press the blank. Our lights work. Our other light works. So we're in good shape. Now we just put the plate on. Little trick when you're doing this. You can make sure they're lined up by putting it on backwards. Then you can just flip your plate over and install it. Put your screws in and you're done. Now, if you want to look like a real electrician, always install your screws in the direction of the device. So if your device is up and down, install your screws in the same direction. If you have a device or a plug that's horizontal, install your, your screws the same direction. This ensures that it looks like a professional did it. The screws on these timers are a little tougher because they are plastic rather than these are metal and threaded.
And that's all you need. And that's all you need. 20 minutes and you get yourself a amazing bathroom upgrade. You never leave the bath fan on again. Turn it on and leave. Shuts itself off.